We have a little bit of sunshine out there trying to break through the clouds. Otherwise, we do have mostly cloudy skies. Temperature still nice and warm as we were talking about earlier. Winds are on the lighter side out of the southeast. That southerly wind still really helping to pump in the warmth that we are going to keep really for the better part of the next seven days with just a couple of hiccups in between. Most of the rain towards our north and south kind of in the middle there of all the shower activity that will change somewhat later on this afternoon. Still, most of us are going to be dry. Once we get into tomorrow, that's when those better rain chances come by. If you are heading to the Dogwood Festival tonight in Vinton, just dodging a couple of showers out there, not a washout. These showers will not last for a very long time, kind of quick hitters. And again, most of us are going to be dry. It is going to just give the opportunity for a stray shower. Here's what I'm talking about. You see just a couple of showers bubbling up throughout the rest of the afternoon and evening. Most are dry. Once we get to the overnight and to daybreak tomorrow, there's seven o'clock. We're clocked in the clouds tomorrow. We're going to be dodging a few scattered showers and then after lunch, we'll have the opportunity for a few strong thunderstorms. Most of those, though, going to be outside of our area. Tracking that, though, here we go with the darker reds and oranges, indicating pockets of heavy rain. Again, this is going to be nothing like we saw last Friday, not expecting a severe weather outbreak, not expecting those storms that do get going to be near as uh, even close to the storms that we saw last Friday. There's four o'clock on Saturday morning. Notice we try to clear things out already in terms of that severe threat again, really from Bedford City to the Hill City and the Smith Mountain Lake Martinsville Henry County points east for us into south side central of Virginia into the Piedmont again that one out of five that marginal risk there indicating again that we're just going to have the opportunity for one of these to get close to severe levels. Maybe a couple of warnings if that just be on the lookout for that mainly east of Interstate 81 71 in South Boston right now 73 in Lynchburg 72 in Roanoke. We are at 73 degrees in Blacksburg as well. Still a lot of warmth off towards our south and west. The cooler air though. Look at this Cleveland only in the low 60s right now mid 50s in Buffalo. That's some of the air that's coming this way as we get into tomorrow. You see it there. High temperatures only into the mid to upper 60s. Of course, we're going to have the clouds and showers around as well, but it is going to be a little cooler than what we've seen over the past couple of days. Tonight, those scattered showers really developing, especially after midnight. Temperature is going to get back into the mid to upper 50s. 70s again today. Tomorrow, a little bit cooler as we just saw. More sunshine coming our way on Saturday. Back to the mid 70s on Sunday with a couple of showers around. Most of those, though, going to stay outside of our area, but a stray shower could sneak in mainly to areas along and north of 460. 68 on Monday under mostly cloudy skies. Back to the 80s, though, on Tuesday. Staying kind of warm as we get into Wednesday as well. Again, tomorrow, there's the opportunity for a strong thunderstorm, mainly east of Interstate 81. If we do get those stronger storms, they will not even be close to what we saw on Friday and certainly coverage area not expecting to see them as widespread as what we saw last Friday.